I am a woman who fear God. Yes, definitely fear him. But let me tell you something. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that God say this and God say that and it's not the truth because that's lying on God, lying about God and all these things. I'm not going to be guilty of that, you know, because when you stand before God, you will have to give an account. Sometimes you give an account even before you get to stand before him. So I am not one of them who is going to sit here and tell you something that is not so. No, I won't do that. That's not my policy at all. But I want to share with you some of the things that God told me. And four times the messenger came to me and told me to get out. Get out of America. And then he went on to say, the last time he went on to say, you're still here? You're still here? Didn't I tell you to get out? I just want to share with you. He said, he went on to say, if you know the things that is going to be taking place in America, you would get out. And that was at a time when we didn't have any any um, people going into churches and schools and all these things. And all this shooting wasn't taking place. Some shooting, but not those kinds of shooting was taking place. And then he went on to say, they don't even have enough police to control what is going to happen. They're going to be going into schools. I see it happening now. They're going to be going into houses. And they're going to be going into homes. And you will have a whole bunch of people who is organizing at this point. I don't know who they are. <laughs> but as according to the messenger... That was not Jesus or the Father. It was a messenger. I, I have to call him a messenger and an angel. Because when they come to you, they don't come like with wings and all that kind of stuff. No. So he said, um, they don't have enough um, police here to maintain the disorder that was going to happen. And then after, after I had that encounter with that messenger the next thing that happened a little short short time after that was that they went into a church that was the first time we heard that they went into a church and they killed like nine people in the church you know so that was uh, that you can know the time when I got the dream it was within that same time period and then we have the um we saw an example of it with the with the uh with what took place in Washington DC. So, we are in the end time and then the Lord went on to show me at another time that we 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 we, we are not in the apocalypse. At that time I didn't even know what I ain't gonna lie to you. I didn't know what it was. So I had to go look it up. He said, we are not in the apocalypse no more. The unveiling of things. He said, he said we are in the end, the very end of time. I ha I'm just sharing with you. He didn't tell me to go tell the people, but I'm sharing what he told me with my, to me, to myself. Not, not to share. He didn't tell me go out there and tell people that. No, he didn't say that, but I'm sharing with you. As a matter of fact, yes, he told me what one time that I was to go tell people everything that he had told me, so many things he told me. So I am trying to share with you today some of the things that the Lord said to me. I didn't even write them down, and I'm not no spring chicken anymore. <laughs> But anyway, I am I am sharing with you what he said. So, and then sometimes we wonder how is God going to be able to 
take people from the four corners of the world because he promised that he's going to collect his people from the four corners of the world. But because he's God, we don't even have to wonder because he has the ability to do all that and more. So, you know, the other thing that he came to me in in my sleep and he told me, he told me that my father's um, side of the family is from the Levi tribe, the Levites. I, I, I put it on before. This is not my first time. But I'm just giving you more, you know. Then he said that um, we are from the Levi tribe. And I'm like, the Levi? Who, did, who is the Levite? I didn't know who the Levites were. <laughs> and then I had to go research it to find out who. But there are, there are people. There is a tribe. It's one of uh, Jacob's son. And his name was Levi. And... um. And then he told me that we are from this descendant of uh, Matthew. The, the, he didn't say Matthew in the, in the Bible. He says, um, Matt, yes, Matthew in the Bible, but not the, not the Levite. He, di he didn't say Matthew. He said the Levite in the Bible. I'm not reading from anything, so I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just going back into the old brain to see if I can remember some of the stuff. Yeah, so he said we are from my father's side is from the Levi tribe, and and um, I always wonder why everybody in my family are preachers and <laughs> and teachers and all that kind of stuff. Now I know why, but you could research it for yourself, and you know who the Levites are, mm -hmm. and um, they were the the ones that did all the temple work. Nobody else could do it, and they were in charge of the. Uh, the um the ark of the covenant and all these things so the lord has been showing me some stuff you know which i'm grateful for because there's no way that i would know all these things so one of these days god is going to pick you up and when i did my dna i'm from i'm from nigeria <laughs> my tribe is from nigeria and i'm like whoa i could never imagine that i i know we are african descent because we were slave you know, taken from our motherland and and taken to different parts of the West Indies, and I'm one of them. So, I mean, my ancestors are one of them, and I'm from them, so I'm one of them too. So, um, so my parents, my parents, 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 parents were slave also. So, uh, of course, but we had no idea where we're from. We, we we just grew up and we didn't know where in the world we came from. If if I didn't do my DNA, I would not have the slightest 